either by election or appointment by statute, we're required to look at the officer structure. You don't have to make changes in certain you know places if you don't want to, or it's your opportunity to make the changes that you do want to make. Well, I would move to and nominate Rich Bracco to serve as chairperson of CDD. Second. Are there any other nominations? Move to close. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I would uh, like to make a motion to have uh, Ernest Booker as vice chair. That. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I said it. <laughs> I'll say, are there any other nominations? <laughs> any other nominations? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Congrats, Steve. Congratulations, Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> what you got yourself into? That's another fine message. <laughs> <laughs> So we do have the resolution uh, board members and just to complete that resolution, then um, our other three board members will all be assistant secretaries. And then you see that Belinda, uh, Melissa Dobbins and Jerry White have all been filled in there as well, as well as there's reference that the uh, original secretary treasurer and assistant treasurer who are Rosetta employees will remain in that. So with those changes, just be looking for a motion to approve resolution 2023-01. I'll make that motion. Second. Second by Cheryl. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Thank you. So going back to liaison appointments, I think we can cover this under the same item. Mr. Kleinglass was previously um, the liaison for the facilities committee. And I've taken a, I, I take a look at the various committees and I'd like to make a, a couple of suggestions for our new folks and also to rearrange some others. I, um, I'd like uh, Ken to take over the finance committee and um, with that also the guardhouse. A guardhouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to a penal back. <laughs> Jill, um, because of your involvement with the uh, facilities committee, mm -hmm. I think it's fitting that you become the liaison to the facilities committee if you would. I'd love okay? to do that. Yeah. And I know you have some uh, some writing skills. As I've oh, seen I knew you, this was coming. As I've seen your <laughs> blog. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Would you be willing to take over the newspaper? I would love to do it. I'd be thrilled to do it, yes. And Cheryl, um, there's a lot going on dollar-wise, certainly with uh, landscaping, and I would um, like to have you as a liaison to the Landscape Committee. And that agreeable? As long as a green thumb is not required for landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's going to be, a, I think, a tremendous amount of uh, financial involvement with uh, with that, yeah. and um, it, I think it would be a, a good fit. Okay. So I think we have every all the committees covered. But, uh, well, well, Ernest is good. Ernest is popular, so stuck I, think, I don't think he wants to make a change. I have Ernest, the most enjoyable <laughs> committee, <laughs> the tennis the most racket sports committee, committee. and the uh, pool and fitness. Okay. I enjoy. And you're happy. Yeah. So we're covered. I'm going to continue with uh, the general liaison duties between uh, the CDD and Vesta, between uh, Heritage Golf and the CDD. Um, also, all of our legal involvements. Um, I uh, already have a January 5th um, Zoom hearing uh, that I'll be involved in. This concerns pickleball. I'll continue with all of that um, moving into the future. Who will be the POA representative for the meetings? The what? The POA rep for the that's, meetings. That's been me. I can continue. You're going to continue? Oh, okay. Thank you. Do I keep pawns? I've been the pawn lead. Oh, <laughs> Are you good with that? Well, can I keep my diver suit? 
<laughs> you can wear that. Oh, I want to see wearing that next Keith, week. Keith makes me go in and do the underwater check. So and you just get golf balls, though, right? Yeah, I have gotten a lot of golf balls. balls. <laughs> All the golf balls that you uh, that you find. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That'd be fine. Oh, absolutely. I cool. wouldn't mind being your backup with the golf heritage absolutely. relationship. Sure. Um, and I think I we'll just, also. You know, we've always had a, a good degree of flexibility here. Uh, somebody can't make a meeting, somebody else can. You know, so um, we have, I have familiarity with uh, social and dining, with finance. I'll, I'll do anything. If, if there, somebody can't make a meeting, just ask. If it works out, I'm willing to fill in. I and mean, you all have done that, you know. So we'll, we'll continue to do that and cooperate with one another. And on the banking side, um, Ernest, as vice chair, you'll be added to the Fidelity accounts as well. Yes. I'll get the paperwork together from Fidelity so that Ernest's name can be uh, added to that. I have a quick procedural question about just boring about the newsletter. Um, I know it's always been done by monthly. Um, is that any kind of, it's not It's not a statutory requirement. Thing, right? so, so if I came up with some other fun idea, that we talk about in a sure. next meeting. Go wild, Jeff. All right. No, I just wanted to be sure, you know, if anybody had any strong I, I know that's something that you like. And, I love it. And you yes. have, I think you have uh, expertise in that area. And I, I, it was one of the things that I enjoyed doing as well, but I'd like to see you give it a shot. Great. Perfect. Okay. And so we'll, I need to know. We're, we're all here to help with that. I'm on it. There's okay. No, okay. There's Thank no you. Rules. <laughs> there are no rules. Well, maybe we need something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where this goes. See, I told you we'd laugh. Okay. okay. Do you want to go to committee appointments? Um, I would, I, with why that, don't we just touch briefly on the Dane investments? That's a, that's oh. a quick item. Um, I had asked that that be put on, but it was only for informational purposes that this is something that's going to be presented on January 6th, um, January 9th, excuse me. We'll have a representative from Data Investments here. I wanted you to have some information uh, about them and um, it should be a, uh, it was a topic that was brought up by the Finance Committee, and it's a company that will invest money for short periods of time, and they're talking about investing our tax money, et cetera, et cetera. We have to, uh, certainly are a lot of questions about fees. There's a, a various various other questions that you may have, but I would ask that you save those questions until January 9th. And, and I, I mean, I took a quick look at the information. If you for whatever reason, decide to go forward, there would be some changes out there. Yes, yeah. 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 absolutely. Uh, okay. I just have one quick question about that one. Are you going to be, or not you, but is 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 it anticipated that there may be a vote on engaging them at the January 9th meeting? I don't know. I, I don't know how that <coughs> you know, So I, I maybe don't know. Maybe. Um, I think we should have, uh, well, they can make a call, but I think there should be some people from the finance committee here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, maybe all. And and I guess I have one other request for Ken as the uh, the the link is that uh, rather than just have Dana present, I think it's important to look at a side by side comparison of what would it look like if we do it ourselves. What would mm -hmm. we look for sure. what if we do what we do currently? Mm -hmm. What could we do differently? And then what does Dana offer? So we can kind of do a just so that the whole board is on the same page with what the yeah. different alternatives are. So it was, the, but it was the decision of the finance committee that, that we should. Well, what happened is when I was still chair months and months ago, we said, "What are we doing with the money?" And that was when it was still invested in the money markets, and they were earning nothing. And so we said, "Should we have an investment advisor? Let's go out and look." And then I. That I was unopposed in the election, so then it was off the committee. Right. So this is the result of that. Correct. Right. And I think in my discussion with the committee, um, Dana kind of that we couldn't find anybody when I started this, and so we kind of laid it to the side. And I think Dana came out afterwards. Yeah, uh, so. Dana came up afterwards, exactly as you as you presented. Um, there aren't too many entities that do this sort of thing. And it's one of the things they specialize in. But there will be a number of questions I circulated 
a letter to the finance committee that uh, came from a former board member who had a variety of questions that were, were asked. I had asked, um, we had a phone call. I, I asked um, if he could put his thoughts together on paper so that I could circulate it. It did go to all the board members. It did go to all the uh, committee members as well. So there'll be there'll be a discussion. No question about that. Okay. So we read all this paper, but not. <laughs> no. Well, it was more for your information. 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 Okay. Just one quick thing for Ken on on the what the finance committee looks at then. Um, the former supervisor raised a couple issues, for example, one of which was, I think it was on the general fund um, investments, I forget whether it was reserves or it, I think it might have been on the reserves, uh, something like, like a half a million dollars invested in an uninsured, very low yield. Will the committee look at what was cited in that former supervisor's letter to just try to get a handle on, yes. on things that would be, yeah, that would sure. be great. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, no. oh. Great, thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, Jill, you wanted the private river club events added. Is there anything else you want to cover on this after the initial discussion, or? Yeah, just one one quick thing, and I, you know, I don't want to beat it into the ground, but um, I know that Vesta has. Um, Rejiggered, I guess I could call it the um, the package for for outside events in terms of costs. And Ken had raised that we're waiting for the cost benefit analysis. And in my mind, um, we we need the cost benefit analysis on those events in order to inform what we should be charging for the outside events. So I would still like to request that we. The board consider suspending booking any future outside events until we have completed the cost benefit analysis and ensure that we're charging what we should be charging for outside events. That was really the, the nugget of, of the item. So I don't know that. When do we expect and, to have that analysis? Three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's. I will do my very best to have it completed by the January meeting. Have, have you looked? Have you looked <laughs> at any of them? Are you in a position to do the analysis? Do you have I'm. I'm in a position to do so um, without. Um, our, our food and beverage management team is um, challenged, um, is the spreadsheet challenged, so any analytics that we provide, I, I need to do, um, and I will be, I'm happy to do it. Uh, happy or unhappy? I'm, I'm, I said happy. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I will get it done. For, I, will, I will complete it before the next board meeting. Do they need help? I'm, I am not um, spreadsheet. I, I know you are. So. <laughs> and we so have, have, and have, we have support here. from Vesta as well. So mm -hmm. we definitely, we're getting through these events and, and definitely be able to address it. Um, both of, between both of us mm -hmm. and then our support from Vesta as well. So, But if you need help. If you need help, we, we already have a volunteer. We have a finance committee. I'm happy to do it personally. Um, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, and I understand Joe's concern. And, and it almost, <clears throat> to some extent, it almost doesn't, I won't say it doesn't matter. It'll be helpful to know what historically we've been experiencing. But more importantly, how will we position going forward? So. We need the historical information, but we also need your assessment of the new pricing and the new contracts and what that means going forward. So it's kind of a two-part analysis. And it's also an analysis of, of the events that we do, even just the events. So for example, Friday night's dinner last year was less expensive 
with more expensive food. I don't know how they even did that. It was pretty shocking. Um, and even New Year's Eve, and we've gotten comments from people, hey, you raised the price, and we're we're doing the fiduciary responsibility on yeah. the price. Well, um, that's, that's almost a separate analysis. It is a separate The outside thing. events yes, sir. Uh, are, are one thing. Internally, it still begs the question as a community, how much do we want to subsidize the right. Right. Yes. So if the outside events are, are a drain on that, then I'm with Joe, right. we should stop them or fix the pricing if we haven't already. That's why that analysis. Holiday events, things like that. There's, there's no club I know of that makes money on food and beverage. We're, we're subsidizing to some level. Is the level 30%, 40%, 50%? Yes, sir. You know, if, as you recall in the presentations we had, uh, it was pretty eye-opening, you know, the range and, and some communities, not commu some private clubs yes, sir. subsidized to a much higher level. So, you know, would have, we have to address what we want as a community, but the outside events are either draining on that or, or helping subsidize. And that's the first question. Understood. Yes, sir. Because if we're going to do a survey, which we talked about in connection with the strategic plan and understand what residents want, we can't ask residents if they want, if they're okay with having outside events, if we can't tell them whether they're profitable or not. I mean, I, I yes. and, and the reason I'm asking for a pause in booking of outside events is there was a lunch here last week. I golf with a lady from uh, outside of here, let's put it that way. Um, they had booked their holiday lunch for this past week, um, even though it wasn't great in 2021. And the reason they had done it is because we were the cheapest place in town. And I understand they've already, I've been told they've already <coughs> rebooked for 2023. So I think I, I don't see the downside in us pausing, at least until we get the, till we get the analysis, pausing booking external events. You're talking about putting a hold on between now and whenever January we can when discuss, discuss the, Whenever we can discuss the cost benefit. Analysis. Well, he's saying the next meeting, so for three weeks, four weeks. Yes, but I think I'm, it's I'm worth fine it. With it. I think it's worth it. Okay. I mean, yeah, you control the calendar, so you just are booking. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, so I'd like to make a motion. Do we need a do motion? Do we need a motion on that, or we just have insurance from the operation. general manager? Why don't we? Why don't we do? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a motion um, that uh, we, s we pause booking um, private events at the River Club until the board can discuss it further. That's or an open ended. Well, okay. okay. I'm not well, January now. So you January now. can always okay. extend it. Okay, yeah. Ernest? Well, why can't we just say 90 days? No. Well, we may have a, a clear. A clear view wow. on January 9th. So, you know, I'm fine with between now and <laughs> January 9th, and we revisit it. Will you have a second? You can hold the Thank session you. until your second. second. Thank you. Okay, so before, I guess I'd like input from the River Club team. Is, what are the implications to you in, hope, in delaying it until the January 9th board meeting? Of putting a hold on, giving us a holiday season. Do people try to rebook for next year now? My my question is going to be maybe as a group we decide, hey, do ten perform us on ten past events in the past six months, and then do what you have booked, <clears throat> you know, ten for what you have booked in twenty twenty three, so we can show um, because the ones that are already booked. They don't all have a contract with an associated price to it. Um, and that was one of the things we have to say to these customers is we're changing the menu. The prices are going up. And if you don't sign the contract, you know, you give them the first right of refusal. And then so we have to have some kind of like parameters so you guys can use it to base your analysis on as well. Because we can do a costing, you know, of <clears throat> of the wedding yesterday. Um that wedding, we, you know, 
we already knew where where the catering package was so when they we booked them because uh, one of the venues in venice was not able to do their wedding so we booked them a month ago um and and we used some of our industry stuff of hey you need a day of coordinating fee because that's what everyone does and you're using our employees for like you know Sorry, three four hours your phone to, to decorate so i mean w if we can just all agree to hey let's look at it like this 10 from this past year performer on those 10 10 from the ones coming up and then we'll do a couple on what our proposal for the increase in the menu is as well so you have something to look at is that like a logical I mean, jeff what do you think i don't know yet. Um, it's going to give us a good barometer, and we can, you know, certainly select a variety of events. There's um, yes. certain ones that you and I are aware of that um, have yes. um, been marginal at best, and there's also um, a number of them um, where we've um, generated pretty substantial margins. So um, we can um, cherry pick, and well, that's a, good that's good a problem cherry picking. Well, it would be a good representation if, if, if it's a good representation. If you, you can cherry pick the worst, <clears throat> make it look terrible, and then make all of the 10 going forward look terrific, or you can cherry pick the best, saying it really hasn't been so bad. <coughs> why, why, don't you, why don't you pick a period in time and do all the events for that period of time, okay. rather than cherry picking? In the past the and the last forward. six months. But, yeah, same, but in the past and the ones the future as well? Is that your recommendation? Oh. <laughs> Looking backwards, I would pick, say, the last six months. Yeah. And do okay. all of them in that period. Okay. Rather than cherry picking. Cherry picking sounds like it's being manipulated. Yeah. No, not, uh, yeah, just. So going forward, <coughs> I don't know. I mean, you just said you don't have pricing for certain contracts. We, we have a menu that we use. Yeah. We, meaning Jeff and I, with the new chef, want to make sure that pricing is correct and we already know some of it is not meaning they're, we're just not charging enough based on what's going on now i mean and in the last year for the industry in general because of uh, you know so many reasons pricing has gone up we've all seen it ourselves in the grocery store um so so but we found out that there aren't a lot of signed contracts for the future is that I mean, is that isn't that what you would exactly, say? Yes. So what's another three weeks, right? We can right. we can just hold off for. I mean, is that gonna will will holding off for for three weeks or four weeks create any kind of problem? I, I would imagine if somebody's inquiring, you could say, look, the you know the board is addressing you know whether yeah. reviewing your strategy or your business strategy. You can still meet with the people. You can still Absolutely. discuss sure. parameters yeah. or whatever. It's just that there's not going to be a, um, a signed contract. And is your analysis going to come forward with also a proposal and how you think we should price into the future? Um, we can so we can certainly make recommendations. Um, we intend, uh, um, and it's our goal to make sure that uh, pricing price points are appropriate uh, going forward. Um, that we are not going to book any um, events, any caterings or um, banquet events um, that are not going to be um, substantially profitable to the park. I guess I'm confused. I, I thought you've already done that. We have, we've been talking about this since the time Rudy was here, mm -hmm. about changing the contracts, changing the pricing. And we, and we, we know inflation's been yes. eight plus percent for months. The contracts are complete. Um, the um, banquet and catering package introduction, which includes um, all um, food and beverage minimum charges, all ancillary charges for room rentals, for um, day of coordinator fees, um, for um, and all of the associated and ancillary charges has been completed and established and is in print and are now part of the banquet catering package. Um, the portions that we have yet to complete, and we, they are a work in progress right now, um, are the analytics of um, the menu costing um, going forward, um, 
um, to include uh, based upon uh, current and anticipated um, co market costs. I don't know what that means. Um, essentially, so somebody who signed a contract <laughs> three months ago, mm -hmm. was it with pricing that was a year old? Or updated price. It was. Um, some, they're not all the same. Some yeah. are updated. Some are. Yeah. So some Maybe. contracts signed in the last yeah, side in the last yeah. three months were under very old pricing. I wouldn't say, I, I don't know if it was very old. I wouldn't say that. But ones we're signing now with new people, it's with the new pricing. So out of like this past week there might have been six events and and two of them might have had the new pricing um so if because you do, for this, if you do an analysis of 10 yes. future events that are going to come up in the next four months right yes sir that's we going to have we can do four months past some, four months some, on the, some degree of older pricing Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it Some will. will. Yeah. Again, I'm, that's fine as long as we're not cherry picking. No, I understand. Okay. Yes. Okay. But Sorry. Don't want to belabor it. So we have a motion. Right. We did. Yeah. yeah I did that. That. Um, it's been seconded. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Any further discussion? Right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? One. Nay. Two. Nay. You were in favor or opposed? I was in favor. Okay, so motion carries three in favor, two against. Okay. So we're now going to move into the business administration items. Supervisors number item number six. Did we pass over the advisory committee? What yes, we did actually. I'm sorry. So item number five B, which is the advisory committee appointments. I would ask that the um, social committee and uh, certainly give the opportunity for Cheryl to take a look at the uh, the people um, before, because before today she didn't know anything about this. So maybe those could be done in in, in January. The one that's um, I think you're trying to get a quorum on that facilities committee. That's. Yeah, so on, on facilities, we actually, um, I know there were there were a number of applicants. Um, I talked to one of the applicants actually for some time. So um, I'd like to go ahead and make a motion to fill that seat uh, with Bill Phillips, who's here. We do have two vacancies. Maybe we can get to the second part of that discussion in a minute. But I'd like to make a motion that we fill uh, one of the two vacancies on the facilities committee with Bill Phillips. He's a gentleman who's um, we didn't have the information or whatever at the time. Yes, yes, yep, yep. and we do now. He's got extensive background. Bill has attended right. meetings for for months now, and I think we've been very lucky to have. He's got construction background and um, uh, extensive experience with the City of New York Police Department. So um, I think we'd be lucky to have him on facilities. So I'd, I'd like to um, make the motion that we make uh, to the facilities committee. Is there I'll a second? second? Sure, I'll second that, sure. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Okay, so that restores the, quorum, the ability for a quorum to, it, it, to the committee and- It, it does, uh, yeah, it does. I, I wanted to ask just, since we're on the facilities committee subject, there is one more seat that is open um, because it was vacated by me. Could we could we re reissue the call for applicants before I'd really like to be able to do that um, so that I would have a chance. I mean, obviously, I've talked to people who've already applied. I know there's one person here, but I'd I'd love to be able to to open that back up if we could. Okay. What do we do? Reopening the uh, notification about a facilities committee seat available. We we've, we've appointed Mr. Phillips. Yeah. Um, but uh, Jill wants to uh, see that get circulated in the community again. For for there's one more vacancy. For one more vacancy. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to defer the other committees or talk about some of the other? 
Yeah, we've been doing my community on your pain. Your, yes, you can yeah. take care of yours, Ernest, for sure. You ready? I am. Okay. Um, first order of business, I'm in receipt of a notice by Jack Chaloner that he is resigning from the Racket Sports Advisory Committee effective January 1st, 2023. His term actually expires uh, January 1st, 2024. So I hereby move that the board accepts his resignation effective on the first of the year. Who is this? Jack Chow. I'll second that. Okay. Yeah. So I need a oh, second, second it. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Now I've had it's discussions and conversations with all of the residents that have submitted and expressed interest in serving on the Racket Sports Advisory Board. Numerous. Based, I've also had a chance to look at their bios. I would like to hereby appoint and recommend for appointment Karen Wilson, residing at 233 Montaluna, to fill the unexpired term of Jack Challenger. Uh, she would serve until January 1st, 2024, and then be up for reappointment if this body so desires. So that's my motion. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Good idea. <laughs> Based on her. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Next, I would like to move and nominate for reappointment. Uh, Mark Faber and Sandy Nick to serve on the Racket Sports Advisory Board uh, for a term of two years. They would serve until 2025, January 1st, 2025. I'm combining both, they're reappointments. I'll second that. With, were there bios in there? And the intents? Yeah, they, 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 they serve currently already. Now why would I? Someone that's doing a good job already, is it necessary to put their bios out again? See what the competition is. Well, I looked at the competition. <laughs> I did my. Was there a second? I second. You did. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And then finally, I would like to move and nominate Paul Ryan to the Racket Sports Advisory Committee for a term of two years. Uh, he resides at uh, 112 Sevilla Place here in Venetia. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> That's, that's it for the record sports. No pool. Pool was done last meeting. Okay. <laughs> Do we have other, any others? Are there openings on the landscape committee? Uh, Joe actually uh, reapplied. Um, I don't have this, the committee terms in front of me. I'd have to re review their schedule. I believe Joe's term expires January 1st, mm -hmm. but I'd like, uh, I'm going to suggest that Cheryl get a little bit of time if we don't do that until January 9th. Um, she can deal with social and social and landscape then, but she hasn't really had an opportunity to look at Would it. Would you like us to re-advertise landscaping as well? Please. Okay. Can I ask how many openings there are on the Finance Reserve Committee? Two. I believe two. So Jerry is Jerry Jasper yeah. and and um, Fred yeah Fred Bachman. Fred Bachman was filling a uh, filling in um, at, at the term when Cheryl left the uh, 
So um, those two, and they both put in an intent. Yeah, those are the only two I saw. I assume those are the only two you have. Those are the only two I have. And was Fred attending the meeting regularly? Yes. Yeah. Since, I, since my departure, he filled in after I left. So yeah, he had a conflict, I think, before. Okay. So. Wait a minute. There may be one other person that put in for the for the. Uh, I don't have the schedule in front of me, Rich. So I, I don't. Know. <clears throat> Not that was circulated. No, that's submitted. Not that was circulated. Then, then I could be incorrect. But definitely Fred put in, and definitely Jerry put in. Well, I know both of them, and I, unless I don't know if you have an opinion. No, huh? It's all good. No. It's all good. Uh, I would have no problem uh, nominating both of them, uh, or, or Jerry, uh, to be recommitted to the to the uh, committee. Uh, committed. Wait, 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 wait. You, I like you agree to like the that. process. I like you, that term. You are agreeing to the process that you challenged me on. Agree? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it is it just Jerry or Fred? Fred. Jerry and Fred. There's, there's two openings and two applicants, and I, I nominate both of them to be accepted by the board. Uh, I have a question. So the, the, the you need a second before I can accept. Second? I'll second. Okay. Okay. No, can I answer? Discussion. Um, so you have Jerry, Fred, Dave Moy. Is there a four? Don Rashida. That's the one I didn't know about. Okay. okay. I assume he's still on. Yes. Oh, that's right. I thought he was. Okay, so it's been seconded. Any vote. further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Do we cover them all? I think we do. I think so. We okay, one more. So, were, were there not five positions on that committee? They were. Yeah. Who's the fifth? But did they get five year terms? Did you, Fred, Jerry? They have a two year term. They David, Don. Don. Oh man, I think that's the problem. No, they were. They were all five. Let me open it. Mark. Mark, Mark Middlebrook. Mark. Yeah. Mark Middlebrook. Yeah. Mark Middlebrook. Yeah. Mark <laughs> there were no vacancies on social dining. Yes, there are. Oh, there are. Got oh, it. Oh, oh, landscaping and social dining. I didn't know those were. Got it. Right. So we're, we're putting all of those out again for yes. Right. Oh. Cool. Okay, I think we're coming. That was a reminder. Jeff wants us to make sure. <laughs> 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 Okay. So moving forward, um, the next item on the agenda is item number 6A, which is a consideration of the minutes of the Board of Supervisors meeting held on October 10th, 2022. These are behind tab number four for your review. Are there any questions, comments, and or changes to the minutes as presented? I have no additional changes. Move to accept. Second. Second by Ken. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Thank you. The next item on the agenda is item number 6B, which is the consideration of the minutes of the Board of Supervisors meeting held on October 24, 2022. These are behind tab number five for your review. Are there any questions, comments, and or changes to the minutes as presented? I have no additional changes. Move to accept. Second. Motion by Ernest, second by Ken. Any further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, please state aye. 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 We're going to move forward with consent items. We have five items for your acceptance. We have the Facilities Advisory Committee meeting minutes of October 3rd, Fitness and Pool meeting minutes of October 19th, Landscaping Advisory Committee meeting minutes of October 3rd and October 17th, and Racket Sports Advisory Committee meeting minutes of April 11th, July 11th, and September, September 12th, 2022, and October 24th, 2022. And no questions, we've been looking dining. for a motion to accept. Don't we have social and dining? Yes. Yeah, Can I skip it? Okay. I'm sorry. Let's add social and dining. Um, advisory committee meeting minutes of October 12, 2022. I'll move we accept. Second. Any further discussion? 
All those in favor, please state aye. Aye. May I ask a, just a quick question? I didn't see any minutes since like May from the Reserve Study Committee. Or the, is it the same issue that brackets them? Trying to think of how many um, we had to cancel. We had a couple of workshops because we didn't have a quorum, but that's all been resolved. I was only curious because when the, when the whole paving thing came up, I was looking for the minutes because I knew there was a lot of stuff and it, it kind of just fell uh, off the cliff. Um, it's uh, David Moy. <coughs> David Moy has been taking. He was. We could reach out to him to just ensure that he's sent them in. Board members, I had a quick question based on your previous action to um, postpone decision on a couple of the committees to give um, board members an opportunity. Do you want to postpone the sunshine until the 23rd? Do you have your committee to vote? Um, oh, I see what you mean to have the new committee members there. Right. That that would probably make sense. It's up to you. I, yeah, I because there may be one. some there may be some new people. But Mr. Booker said he won't be present. He knew all this stuff. Well, well no, I knew it. It's, 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 it's basically for the I, no, no, I, I it's for the new live and breathe. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll uh, we'll advertise it for the twenty third. Okay, that makes good good catch. That's a good. That's time to do it. Okay, supervisor requests or comments. Are there any supervisor requests or comments? Again, a welcome to our new members. Thank you. Any uh, other supervisor requests or comments? I have, I have a so, comment on uh, Belinda. Uh, we talked about it in the uh, the communications, and I guess this is still in effect that um, we require masks to be worn by unvaccinated residents or people to come into the river club seems a little antiquated at this point yes you um, haven't really voted on that it's so no. it's remained since it was placed um we would just need staff direction to remove it if you want to and that goes for direction for the river club staff the way <laughs> i i guess we probably should yeah. but the way things are going right now we may be dealing with that again I mean, um, they're, they're talking about requiring in New York City again, and who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, I think we should. Uh, excuse me, we're in a state of freedom. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we're woke. I'm not woke. I would like to make a motion <laughs> to, to no longer require unvaccinated people to wear a mask at the River Club. Is there a second? I'll second that. I have a question. Does VESTA have a policy on that with regard to employees? Do you require your employees who are unvaccinated to wear masks? We usually follow whatever the um, districts are. Okay, so it would be, okay. Right. Thank you for checking. And, and have you, anybody that walks in the door, do you ask them if they've been vaccinated? If they need a mask? What is that? It, 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 practically, it's, it's, it's unenforceable, right. isn't it? Yeah. Right. So. Yep. I rest my case. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Thank you. I didn't realize we still had. Any other Let's highlight it on the yeah. 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 Right. I, right. right. Well, I'll start, I'll start, I will start with the negative part first. Very upset by the fact that someone ripped us off for the basketball hoop that was out there. Uh, we were stored in the back. Uh, these little kids, every day at three o'clock, you can see them out there pooping it and bawling, and uh, and it's gone. So I, when I once I found out, you know, I indicated we need to file a police report and all, and now be aware this happening in hap, happening in Venetian. Was it the damaged one that was stolen? No, it was the new one. The new one. one. The new one. And that we was plan to have out Thanksgiving and Christmas for all the kids. So that was it boxed or has it been up? set up? Or <clears throat> no. It, well, it was it was, it was assembled with the exception of one key piece. Um, it's a five foot arm essentially that allows the height adjustments um, that was missing.
from the original packaging. Um, it, the unit was assembled and this it was out in the um, food and beverage loading area and it disappeared. Um, Do you know? The uh, new one is in house now and I've asked Miles to please assemble it to be yeah, top priority. Yes, now, sir. Do you have a, a, a date when it was? We have a date and range. Um, we have a range. It was like a two day, two to three day period. And I'm assuming this is probably done at night rather than during the day. Any? Can we check any of the? There's no cameras back there. No, at the gate. We, you'd at the be garden, able to see something. You would need a truck to get that thing out of here. Or a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. You would definitely need a truck, you know, to, pick up truck. to do that. If there's three days I need to hire or employ for someone to sit there and watch 24 hours worth of tape. I mean, it's not a, a short process to, to sit and watch the exit gate. That exit gate is a 24 hour and then the other gate's 24 hour, you know, to, to watch. So to do that, it wasn't was, back. It wasn't, well, the gate, it wasn't, wasn't working. The other gate back. So, well, who's in charge of that gatehouse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check you on your heart to make sure it's not. Can <laughs> uh, so you fast forward to the please? Okay. Now, my <laughs> other. <laughs> do we have any insurance on that? Uh, any insurance coverage or it's explicit cost? It's, it's, it's like $700. Yeah. I think your cost. Yeah, maybe the credit card. You know, the credit card probably probably yeah. covered. It's a price. My, my wife, I'll ask her. Okay, now then my other concern, my wife brings up, as we enter into the Venetian to the front gate and you look to the right, mm -hmm. and I think I'm in the old South Bronx or so, the condition of that property that is the Welcome Center. It's an eyesore and it affects the values of this property, of the property in this community. Um, you that was one of the things i think we need to meet with heritage and they have to take some type of remedial action to so address refer it. to the what well, were all the trees we, not there oh, no all well, the equipment just, the sand it looks it looks like you're it just look as to the right as you come in in front of the parking lot to the, we have an agreement uh, correct me if i'm wrong on this with um comcast that they can use that as a staging area and they had said from the beginning that it was going to be about a year's progress. Well, yeah, that's what carriage is, and that has grown from my understanding because it was supposed to be like, you know, 20 by 20 spot, right? And now it's a 250 yard by 250 yard yeah. thing and all their equipment. So that's a heritage thing. I've talked to Heritage about it, and they said they really don't have any concern with it. Um, I've asked Jerry uh, Lewis to get with Comcast and to get it cleaned up. And he he did uh, get with them about getting some of the, those dumpsters they had that were, and those have been cleaned out, but you know they're full again, and to get that uh, green uh, cover up uh, that covered that for the longest time. Yeah. And now it's down. So I'll get with Jerry today and ask him about can he get back with Comcast and get that uh, covering back up and get get it straightened out because it's it I get a call a week. Couple of calls a week. Ago. Did the covering come down because of the hurricane? I believe that's what it was. Yeah, they just haven't put it back up. Yeah. Um, okay. Speaking of Comcast, you know, has your Comcast been working? <laughs> I mean, mine's been on for minutes, so. Oh, yeah, one I have been, I haven't been home for a couple of days, but if um, it wasn't working, I would have known. No, it's, it's okay. And then finally, um, we have new members on the CBD. Um, I think we need to schedule more, they call them workshops or work sessions, in which we can have some the free uh, interaction of our ideas and things like uh, that. Uh, get, a, get a feel for what our fellow super, how they feel and desires to have with regards to uh, addressing <laughs> issues in this community. Um, the Sunshine Law. Just it inhibits and restricts you so much, and most of the time we get these, um, say, packages the day of, and we have no time to discuss it among ourselves. 
And we need to discuss some of these issues and uh, among ourselves. And I would <coughs> request and suggest that we have more workshops, be it an hour before the meeting or the regular meeting or so. I, I don't know what you're, you're thinking there, Rich, but I have any help. I have I have no problem with that. I just want to ensure that we're not that we're staying in compliance with what we're supposed to be doing, sunshine law wise. Well, that's you, you, you have to advertise if you have a workshop. You certainly can. Yeah, that's you have to advertise it. You have to have minutes. But it, you know, it it, it just and no no action can be taken at a workshop. It's just, just talking things through. What do you think about the the report from the from the one restaurant? What do you think about you know landscape and things like that? It just it, it makes for a more efficient operation. Well, we can set a date. Um, maybe the first meeting is in February. We can't do it. Second meeting in January because you already said mm -hmm. you're not going to be here. Um, and the January 9th meeting is already going to be filled up with some stuff. We could go to the first meeting in February and meet an hour earlier. Yeah. And then well, set a schedule there to do that once a month forward. Yeah. Not maybe not once a month. Well, maybe once meeting. every other month or something like that. We could do that. Sure. Okay. Just to note, supervisors, I don't attend workshops no, I know outside that. I of your, your budget workshop, which right. is part of your contract. If right. you do ask me to attend, then you would be billed your standard hourly rate for it. So one of us just needs to there. Yeah. So one of the assistant secretaries will get to do that. We'll yeah. Take yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to be fancy. We can do that. And if you want to schedule it right now for the first meeting in February, I'd have to look at a calendar and see what that date is. Does that sound good? Yes. Have to advertise it. I think it's a good idea because A, it's the beginning of the year, of calendar year, at least not fiscal year, but I think it's a if you, if you look at the subject matter, I, I think a, a, a look at the strategic plan and the items that are in the plan and what our expectations are of ourselves and the committees for the coming months might be a, a good idea and set up some parameters, even though we can't take action, we can maybe set up parameters. And we've got a lot of issues to talk about. We've spent, we'll, we'll have spent a lot of money on the cleanup. I'm not sure how much we'll ever get back uh, of it. Hopefully, significant amount, but we can't count on it. We may have some budget issues already kind of creeping in by then. Um, you know, landscaping, certainly an issue. And if we can give guidance to some of the committees out of a workshop like sure. that in terms of expectations that because we've got these uh, extra budgetary issues, financial issues, um, whether it's that, reserves, okay. maybe it's a good time to put some parameters, give some parameters to the committees. Looks like it would be the 13th. It is. What, what time? Eight o'clock or 8.30? What's ever good for everybody? Eight. 8.30 would be uh, an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, how about 8.30 on February 13th? Okay. So, so it's just the board. You don't need to lend our mind No, no. So we're just looking at making this an extension of, of a regular meeting, not a separate workshop, I'll say. It is a separate workshop. It's a workshop. It's just it's taking place one hour the before the meeting. You know, God knows. Let's, before, let's but. try it. Let's try it this way. Okay. And if it needs to be tweaked, mm -hmm. that's something we can discuss. Okay. So we have a date then as February 13th at 8 30. Okay. 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 And I say, uh, anything else on this? No. <laughs> Uh, we talked about the tiki bar, right? Everybody, I have no further comments. Okay. Any other supervisor requests or comments? Okay. If there are no supervisor requests or comments. It is twelve twenty-one p.m. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Is there a second?